What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Greedy Williams, a uh, cornerback out of LSU. Um, to start things off, this dude's hips are absolutely amazing, um, which really aids his transitions. Um, he's very good about opening up his hips and, you know, going from uh, slow pedaling backwards with the, with the receiver to... Um, Running right with the receiver. Uh, it, it's a very smooth transition. It looks pretty effortless on his part. Um, he's a tall... He's a very he's a fairly tall corner. He's about 6'2", about 185, which is actually pretty tall for a corner. Um, he's... Uh, he's actually... He definitely uses that height to be pretty physical. Um, he... Um, He's known to harass receivers and uh, frustrate them, you know, get get pretty physical with them coming off the line. And um, that that definitely helps his game. And um, he's also very smart and very aware. He doesn't fall for fakes, you know, play actions, stuff like that. He, uh, he reads his keys quite well. You can't really uh, trick him. Um... And I, I've seen him completely take players away and uh, lock up one side of the field. One game in particular against Ole Miss, he absolutely shut down DK Metcalf the whole game. Um, it, it he, he just had an amazing game at, against him, which is great to see that even against someone as physical as DK, he was still able to win that matchup. Um, I think the only types of receivers that even really have a chance of beating him are your premier route runners. You know, uh, not not the big physical guys, but the premier route runners, you know, like the really good slot guys of the NFL. I think people like Antonio Brown could definitely beat him um, just with sheer route running. Uh, he is quite fast as well. He, he ran like a 4.37, 4.38 in the combine, something like that. Um, so he definitely has enough speed to keep up with these receivers. Um, he's probably my number one corner in this league. Uh, in well, no, in this draft rather. Uh, he he's he definitely goes into the mold of a lockdown corner. But there is one issue I kind of have with him, and that's that. Uh, when LSU started kind of going downhill last year, um, he kind of disappeared a little bit. Uh, you, you stopped seeing him all over the field like he was. You know, uh, he he didn't he, he didn't become bad by any means. He just wasn't putting up the kind of games he was earlier in the season, and uh, that that does add a little bit of a character questions. I don't see it as too big of an issue, but I just thought I should mention it. I did notice it. Um, but I, I definitely do think this guy is going to be a very good corner in this league. Um, I don't usually like watching defensive backs, but he was actually a lot of fun to watch. Um, but I'm not going to make this video too long. Uh, so if you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments down below. And uh, I'll, take, uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.